So part E, what we're looking at is, is the overall model significant? So what we're looking at here is that, is there a linear relationship between all the X variables and, and Y, and the Y variable? Okay, so what we're looking at is that we're looking at the, the F, F statistics, if we're looking at the overall model, and what we're testing for is we're testing for the coefficient of determination, we're testing for the R square. Okay, so what we're testing for is that we want to prove that the coefficient of determination the coefficient of determination is greater than zero. This is what we want to prove. The coefficient of determination, we want to prove that this is greater than zero. And before we prove that our H zero is the opposite, we have to assume that the coefficient of determination is less than or equal to zero. So when we look at it from the regressions, what we're looking at it we're looking at the F distributions for the overall model significance. So what we're looking at is the F distribution. So we have the F statistics here, and then we have the, the p-value. Significant F is your p-value for the F distribution. So your F statistics, we have the F statistics, which is your 3.48. And then we are also given the p-value for the F distributions. And again, same as chapter nine, what we can do is we can compare the F statistics with the F critical. So F statistics is 3.48. 488. We can compare that with the F critical. So the formula for F critical is F dot IMV dot RT. And because this is one tail, so we're looking at probability is your alpha. Alpha is 5%. Degree of freedom is 3, 26. So you're 3 and then 26. So that's your degree of freedom for, for F critical. And you'll get the 2.975. And from that, then you can make your conclusion. We know that F statistics is greater than F critical, then we know that we will reject H null. Which one? What we're accepting is that, accepting that the overall model is significant. And then we can also do the same for, by comparing p-value with alpha. p-value is 3%, alpha is 5%. So we know that p-value is less than alpha. So we get the same conclusion, reject H null, accept H except H1, except that the model is significant. Okay, so what you need to know is that you need to know how to calculate F critical is F dot IMV dot RT. You have the alpha, degree of freedom is three, 26.